Another baby has been surrendered to an Indiana safe haven baby box. It is the third child in the last two weeks. Fox 55's Brianna Bias spoke to the organization's CEO. She is live to explain what happens to both the babies and the parents when a child is surrendered. Bree. Tara, a total of eight babies were surrendered to Indiana Safe Haven Baby Boxes in 2022. Now, only a quarter into 2023, they've already rescued three children. And the organization's founder says this is not a success story for Safe Haven Baby Boxes. It's a success story for the parents and the children. Monica Kelsey knows from experience how vital safe baby surrender programs are. I was abandoned as an infant, so I feel for these kids. But then I also got to meet my biological mother when I was 37 years old, and I I, I think that's where I learned empathy. Since she founded Safe Haven Baby Boxes in 2016, she says there have been zero abandoned infant deaths in Indiana. It speaks volumes about these parents, and it speaks volumes about the residents of Indiana and how proactive we've been. In the last two weeks alone, three people have surrendered their babies to Indiana baby boxes. Chief Mark Travis with the Cleveland Township Fire Department says his team was quick to act when they discovered a baby at his station. Cleveland Township is grateful that we were able to provide a safe venue and opportunity for a mother to surrender their infant anonymously and safely. Kelsey believes a parent safely surrendering a baby is sometimes the biggest act of love they're capable of in the moment. They're not shamed, they're not judged, they're not asked a ton of questions, and they can walk away knowing that they've done what's best for their child in their eyes. She says the vast majority of parents who surrender babies are minors, and many stay in touch with Safe Haven to make sure their child is okay. If there was anything you could say to the parents who surrendered their babies, what would that be? I would tell them thank you. Thank you for keeping your child safe. Thank you for for doing what you felt was best for your child, and thank you for taking your child to a place where you know knew that they would be taken care of. And there are several Safe Haven Baby Boxes locations across Northeast Indiana, including one right here at the Lutheran Downtown Hospital. And Kelsey suggests calling their organization to discuss your options as a parent. They average two calls a day. But she says if you feel trapped, there's no shame in safely surrendering your child. You can find a full list of Northeast Indiana locations in this story on our website, WFFT.com. Live in Fort Wayne, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News.